lot of you are hoes and don't even know it. Oh, did he start off like that? Yes, I did. You know, there's a lot of hoes out here and you just don't know it. Or at least you have not come to grips with your hoeing. That's the difference. Why don't we go ahead and just lay that out? Let me give you an example of exactly what I mean. Now, this was coming over the wire on January 1st. They're talking about bringing in a new year. For the New York Daily News, it reported the North Carolina Powerball Lottery winner's boyfriend posts $12 million bond in fourth bailout since she won her $188 million jackpot. This woman won $188 and $88 million. She collected a lump sum. She wanted to get all the money right now. She didn't even take it where they pay it out in payments and you get more of it. She said, no, I want it all right now. Give it to me. Because that's how hood rats think. That's how hoes think. There is no long-term thinking. Everything is now. Now, y'all have to understand. I mean, exactly what I said. She's got bastard babies. This chick is hood rat. Hood with a capital hood, rat with a capital rat, straight down the line. She could have gotten more money if she had gotten payments. You all know that about lotteries, but she said, no, I want the lump sum now. So she gave up a hundred million of the hundred and eighty-eight million. So the state walked away with a hundred million, she walked away with eighty-eight million. And she said, I'm straight. That tells you the kind of pathology you're dealing with here. That tells you the kind of mentality you're dealing with. She probably had attorneys and everybody else telling her, take the payments. And she, no, I want it all right now. Give it here. I want them hoes back on that block to know I'm balling. She deserves to be punished relentlessly, unforgivingly, unmercifully. Because she has children. Black people have been held down by this society for hundreds of years. The money that she's paid to the state, whether it was the money that she spent bailing him out, do you all know what we could do with that kind of money? With the money that she spent bailing this bum nigga out of jail, whether the bondsman or not, she could have started schools, she could have started a bank, she could have started a grocery store. There is so she could have bought an apartment complex and had that money working for her. In other words, she could have built up some assets that she could pass on to her children. She walks out of the door past her children every single day and does not give a damn about them because in her mind the most important thing she can be doing is laying up with this jailbird ass bastard. She doesn't give a damn about herself, her safety, her money, or her children. And as black people going into this year, you need to make a conscious decision that you will avoid people like this. People who just don't give a damn whether they go down in flames because they'll take you with them. She had an opportunity to get freaking free. Don't give a damn whether they go down in flames because they'll take you with them. She had an opportunity to get freaking free. You are watching her and she is demonstrating before your eyes why reparations won't work 
on a mass level for black people. She is the living, walking illustration of why, as a group, reparations would do more good for non-black people than it would for black people. Because ain't nobody getting rich off of this heifer except white folks. Bail bondsmen, the, the, the courts, the Yaki Weave people, the Cadillac dealership, everybody is coming up except her and her children. Her children are going to be just as broke when she dies as they were before she got that money. Her children are going to be just as ass out after she dies as they were before she got the money. And that is an outright sin against those kids. That's a sin. It's not just a sin against the kids, it's a sin against black people. Because unfortunately, black people are cursed. We are cursed with a group, a segment amongst us that is poor, downtrodden, oppressed, and is perfectly fine staying in that wretched condition. Getting beat up and arrested by the police is just an everyday thing. Chasing baby mamas, just an everyday thing. Getting into it with baby daddies, just an everyday thing. Being in section 8, just an everyday thing. Fighting with STDs, just an everyday thing. All of this bullcrap and this chaos in this mess is just an everyday thing for their kind. It bothers people like you and me. It doesn't bother them. going into this year, you need to make a conscious decision that you will avoid people like this. People who just don't give a damn whether they go down in flames because they'll take you with them. She had an opportunity to get freaking free. honest for number one you want to fight because your motherfucking boyfriend was paying nikki three thousand dollars just to see her naked to jack his small ass dick i'll wait bitch get the fuck up out of here while you right steady billing this nigga the fuck out he taking care of every bitch around you except for you dummy so basically 
You talking about meet you at eye candy, eye candy, eye candy. This how I know you a pussy ass bitch. Because let me tell you something. You can come to the hood any motherfucking day. I don't mind tearing a bitch ass up and praying about it on Sunday. You understand me what I'm saying? I'm not the motherfucker to come for. Now you was sitting up here talking about, oh, Tiffany, you did Tiffany this kind of way, bitch. Well, I'm coming for the juggler with you. Okay? So I was talking about. Oh, I want to fight Nikki because I used to deal with him. Sauce, if I got to suck your dick like that, why the fuck am I bothered? Get the fuck up out of here. I'm coming for the goddamn juggler because you don't piss me the fuck off. For two, Marie, let's talk about how many times you don't cop the goddamn plea and ask motherfucking Nikki, uh, how much do I need to pay you for you to stay away from Sauce, bitch? You a fucking made ass bitch. Bitch, we built you. Brother County built you. You was the same motherfucking bitch begging for a goddamn ride to go to a store. Come on. You was the same motherfucking di bitch that was sucking sauce dick behind the building of motherfucking remedies. Come on. You the same bitch that's paying for a nigga dick that's that small? Come on. Bitch, if you're going to come for somebody, come the fuck correct, because I told you I do this motherfucking shit. I'm the pettiest of all pettiest, and then I can back my shit the fuck up. Who ass you going to be? Who ass you going to be? Not mine. Fuck up out of here, bitch. Now, let me make up these motherfucking screenshots. How you begging? Please tell me if Nikki pregnant by sauce. Please tell me if Nikki pregnant by sauce. I'm not going to tell sauce. I promise I don't even deal with him. I don't even have none of his stuff in my name. Like, please, 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 please. Bitch, get the fuck up out of here. How you a millionaire, but you still around in Brother County? Bitch, get your shit together. How you a millionaire, but your hair stay raggedy like you on Section 8? Bitch, get serious. How the fuck you a millionaire, but you around here paying bitches out to fuck your man? Bitch, get out of here. Use a fucking dummy. Use a made dummy. You always gonna be a dummy. And bitch, the day that you fucking come for me, look to fold your motherfucking arms, bitch. Look to do that. Look to do that. Now, Sauce, since you got her all revved up like you such a dope boy, nigga, let's talk about how you said, Nikki, why don't you bring your road dog out here to have a couple of drinks? Nikki, I love you. Nikki, let's spend the rest of our life together. Nikki, 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 Nikki. Please, Nikki. Oh, Nikki, Nikki. Please let me jack my dick to your titties. Please, Nikki. Please, Nikki. Please, Nikki, with that small ass dick, bitch. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Since y'all want to talk about who ass you going to be. Who you paying to see your small ass dick? Who you paying to see your small ass dick? Who? Who you paying to see your small ass dick? Who? Fuck out of here, fucking pussy. Fuck you mean, bitch. I'm gonna go put your fucking business out here like that. But you know what? Use a dub, bitch. Use a fucking dub. A million ass ass bitch that sit around here with a raggedy ass motherfucking hairdo. A stinking ass pussy because that's what the fuck sauce Nick told Nikki whenever she was about to jack his dick and it smelled like straight shrimp. Dog seafood ass bitch. Come on. Dish your pussy out, bitch. You got millions. This only costs a dollar. Bitch, a dollar. Dollar. This shit. Bitch, this shit, please, I'm begging you, this shit, because he said he getting tired of your motherfucking ass, he is, just like he said, he gonna build a stay, so that whenever he gets out of jail, he gonna leave your dusty ass, why would you think Sauce wanna be with you, this nigga been had money, that money don't make him bitch, it don't, you not sucking his dick good enough, you not fucking him good enough, because he paying the next bitch to get naked so he can jack his dick, so what did I say about your pussy, your pussy is a dub, but it's a dub. Yeah. So, who gonna check me? Who? Who gonna check me? Who? I'll wait. Hmm? Hmm? Because today is the day that a millionaire got her motherfucking ass shamed. Now, who gonna check me? Who? Who gonna check me? <laughs> Fuck out of here, bitch. Get your motherfucking pussy up. Get your hair up. Get your motherfucking status up, bitch. You go out here with millions and you still a common ass bitch. Still begging to see if people gonna go out and kiss your ass. Still buying motherfucking friends. Still asking bitches, uh, could you please tell me about my man, but you live with him. How you a boss bitch in the house you bought? He just fucked another bitch up in it. Ooh, was that my cousin? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. She fucked all over your million dollar sheets. All over your million dollar sheets. And what you do? Ask her a price. How much can I pay you not to fuck my man? Dummy. Fuck out of here, dumb.